Controversy is stirring across Lycoming County as a nonprofit may soon be forced to shut its doors. The organization helps former inmates get back into mainstream society, but now there's a concern out of an out of state company that's taking away their clients. Eyewitness News reporter Morgan Parrish joins us now in Williamsport. Morgan, what's going on? Candice, good evening. Fire Tree Limited made their case to the county commissioners this morning that they're in need of some help. They say the county is spending money on an out of state company and not helping their local program. When it's time for an inmate to be released back into the community, they are usually required to complete a re-entry service program. Fire Tree Limited, based in Williamsport, provides those programs, but so does Florida-based Geo Group. Recently, we've had a pretty steep decline that's related to uh, a competitor, Geo Group, uh, who services the same, same body of clients. And that's where the controversy comes in. Both organizations get state or county funding based on the number of parolees they counsel. Firetree says Geo Group is killing its business because Geo works out of county building space and has no overhead with regard to state parolees. We need 20 to 25 state parolees to stay in business uh, and since Geo Group has moved in, we've, we've been had that basically cut in half. Uh, we're floating between 10 and 15 clients. Firetree says that the county doesn't stop subsidizing Geo Group while still taking fees for state parolees. Firetree is operating at a financial disadvantage. We're very willing to, to take a look at things. I mean, we, we're constantly watching uh, the Geo program. I think they've been very successful for Lycoming County. Uh, it's been a good program. Uh, we've had less people going through it uh, this year than we thought, but that might be a good indication. For its part, Geo Group manager Michael Bouton tells Eyewitness News, we're not the only person taking away referrals from Firetree. There are other competitors in the game. While that may be true, at least one commissioner is on Firetree's side. Obviously, everyone's free to compete, but it's, it's very unfair for us to set a situation where we use tax dollars to actually set a non-competitive position against one of our local businesses. Members of Firetree say they will be forced to close its doors pretty quickly if they don't get more clients. That could be as soon as April 1st. In Williamsport, Morgan Parrish, Eyewitness News. Morgan, thank you. The county commissioners hope to have a decision made by this Thursday.